in 1981, Acer created Microprocessor One. This is the product to help people understand what is microprocessor and how to design microprocessor-based application. Although many things have changed over the past 40 years, some remain the same. The microprocessors still available and updated to realize Acer's so, promise of bridging the digital divide today? and providing reliable digital tools okay. to we'll explore the future. In 2001, the world's first convertible tablet was born out of dream to deliver more freedom. It has a rotatable monitor which allows you to present to others. Today, the screen and the keyboard can be separate. Getting there means learning from early failures. But break. we keep trying until we got it right because we have a goal. Breaking the barrier between people and the technology. I've been okay. It's been sort of tough. How's your practicing going? Along the way, we collaborated with Scuderia Ferrari to launch the Acer Ferrari 3000 in 2003. To ensure the product justified the name, we paid great attention to delivering a flawless exterior while also providing performance befitting the Ferrari brand. Drawing on Acer's design capabilities and leading time-to-market processes, we have transformed users' ideas into authentic products that transport us between the virtual and real worlds faster and faster. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Acer Corporate President and CEO, Jason Chen. Thank you, thank you, Stephen. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to New York City for our new Next Air Acer. In fact, this is not the first time we have an uh, event like this in New York. How many people here are actually with us last year in the same location. Ah, welcome back. Uh, you know what? This year, we got something extra. We got a balcony. <laughs> so uh, after the event, I hope you will be able to walk around, enjoy it a little bit. To this year, it's the 40th years of Asia. Ever since the beginning, we have this vision to make sure that we break down the barrier between technology and people so that technology can be enjoyed by most of the people, not just few. And over years, that vision continue. There are many things being introduced by Acer. There are many products being enjoyed by many, many people. The vision continue, and we will continue to do so. That's why we are here today. Two and a half years ago, I joined Acer. At the time, we have decided the courses of Acer, the courses for me and the management team, is to make sure that, number one, we turn around the company, and we did that. I remember the first time, two and a half years ago, the first time we came over to uh, to New York City, the, the, the main topic was talking about turn around. And then once we have done that, we want to make sure that we energize our business with multiple business engines. And then we transform the company. All right. Many companies actually talk about transformation. What do we want to transform our company over to? Nowadays, more and more topics, a discussion talking about post-PC era. You know what? That was discussed 20, 15 years ago, post-PC era. And, and, and starting from this year, I started to, see, to hear people talk about post-smartphone era. You heard about that? So what is going to happen on post-smartphone and post 
PC era. We believe there will be something happening. And today, we have decided to start from there. We believe the company we want to transform into will be an area we call them build your own cloud, a being well device. That is focused on a vertical business model with intelligent connected devices. What does that really mean? Six months ago, we acquired a company, uh, Explorer, a biking computer company, uh, so that you will be able to uh, use a simple device, put on your uh, bicycle when you do cycling, we'll be able to tell you the route, uh, where to go, uh, where to rest, where to get a cup of coffees and things like that. And after that, you will be able to share with the community on what's exciting. In six months, what happened? In six months, we have gone up the user by 5,000 more users. And even more, they are totally 60,000 print routes that around the continent, three continents that people really enjoy using this device and upload the routes they experience and share what they feel about the route. Good, bad, and how that will work. Today, I'd like to introduce you, in six months, the work, the team are highly passionate team that they want to do the best biking computer in the world, introducing Explorer X5. All right. Thank you, Jason. Live video at the moment of your every ride. Explorer X5 camera function will be activated when your heart rate exceeds preset number or when you cycle past major signs on your route. Easily edit and broadcast your video to your social media. Explova Moment. Bike My Moment. So this is the brand new Explova X5 biking computer. It's extremely intelligent, it's connected, and it has a camera. This is actually the first ever biking computer two-in-one with the camera. That's right. The camera experience is a unique one for bikers. How many people here actually do biking? You do video when you do biking? No. No. <laughs> no. Why? It's crazy. It's crazy. It's dangerous. Super dangerous. Oh. Because well, uh, how do you do video, right? So you, uh, when you do biking, you want to take pictures, and you do videos, and keep yourself busy. Uh, it's actually pretty risky. And we invented this device Tell people how does that work. Sure. So typical solutions for the video and biking problem is to you know, mount something up here or separate camera over here. The problem with that is you have to manage that device separately from your biking computer. So now with the X5, you can actually adjust the settings to automatically record video whenever you want. For example, let's say you when your heart rate goes over a certain BPM, it can start recording automatically. Let's say you are... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Did you say you actually detect your heartbeats? That's right. So when you wear a connected heart rate strap, it syncs wirelessly to the device, and you can actually set it to automatically start recording. So it works with BPM. It works with your speed. So if you hit 40 miles an hour, start recording video. And you can also use Explova's points of interest system to start recording automatically when you hit that mountain crest. So you see something beautiful, you, it records. That's right. And you will see something dangerous, it records. <laughs> About right. to fall down, it records. <laughs> yep. So that when you do three hour biking, you don't end up having three hours video that you don't know what to do about that. You actually have much shorter video clips that is easier to manage. That's is right. It? That's right. And the Explova system makes it easy to upload and share those videos as well. I, Extremely I, connected device. I think that gives people 
a wonderful biking computers with GPS and 3D planning your energy, and very important, the video, the camera, the video experience that people will be able to enjoy. That's right. So check out this awesome biking computer with widescreen camera. We have a demo over in this corner. Check it out. It's, it's really an amazing product. I'm sure all the people that just raise their hand, the bikers, you will really enjoy this uh, uh, because I pretty much know you don't know how to do with your <laughs> camera. <laughs> you know, it's three hours biking after that. Okay, thank you, Stephen. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> That's an example of what we mean by being well. And that gives people a wonderful uh, 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 experience in the sport area. And there are many more. And today, we also we would like to give another example in the area of life. Uh, only a few weeks ago, we announced we invested in a company called Grandpad. To introduce this product, let's see the video first. Private family network that links everyone in real time from grandparents to grandkids. Introducing the GrandPad, a simple and easy to use tablet designed and crafted for the grand generation over 75. It's set up and ready to go right out of the box. So grandma and grandpa can video chat, send voice emails, play their favorite games, listen to classic music, share photos, and stay in touch with the ones they love most. But GrandPad is more than a tablet. The entire family gets access to a free companion app on their phone to instantly communicate with grandma and grandpa. In real time, a whole family can share photos and videos to stay connected like never before. GrandPad comes with everything you need, including hardware, software, white glove support, internet connectivity with 4G LTE and insurance. GrandPad has a no risk satisfaction guarantee. Live grand, GrandPad. In fact, when I saw this solution, the GrandPad solution, again, it's a, another good example of beamware that is vertical, it's hardware, it's software, it's service. But what really makes it different is when I see it, I feel touched. And we spoke to the users, they love it. And we are very happy to have the CEO of Grandpa Scott Leung to join us today on the stage. Hi, Scott, Jason. how are you doing? Fantastic. Thanks for having me. Why don't you talk a little bit how and why you create this business and how does it work so far? Great. I created it because of my mom, who was 80, and she was frustrated with some of the, uh, with some of the things in technology, and we were disconnected. So Grandpad is all about reconnecting the more than 300 million what we call super seniors, those over the age of 75, and reconnecting them with their family, friends, and caregivers. We call that the circle of trust. So they can enjoy things like you saw in the video, video chat, music, games, email. And when you, we all take these things for granted, but when you reconnect someone who's 80, 90, 100, one of, our, one of our users was 114, seventh oldest person in the world. Wow. And, and when she was able to see the and picture. Wait, wait a minute. Her, so 114, yes. he was trying to build up a social network for him. Yes. Or her. Very large family. So how, how many ended up that circle? Yes. I, I asked her how many grandkids and great grandkids you have. And she looked at me and she said, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> many. So, but for th those people, when you do that, the results are absolutely magical. Right? It's reducing social isolation, improving their overall health and wellness, and helping the whole family. Because when the social moves, uh, on the way coming over, Scott actually talked talking to me that in the early days, you live together with three generations right. in a small town. Right. But nowadays, US is a big country. Right. People actually spread across. It's getting harder and harder to get connected. This is a solution that potentially will be able to get not just the senior citizens connected, but the whole family connected. That's right. That's right. We're geographically disconnected, and we're digitally disconnected. This solves both those problems. Potentially change the country, change the society, society change the world. Yes. Thank you, Scott. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Yes. Thank you. Grandpa. And for our main course, 
I call it our core business, is to energize our business, our core business, our PC business, or PC related business, to make sure that the business continue to stay viable, energized, and continue to do well. For that, the first gentleman I would like to introduce to, to, to join me on the stage to talk about his product is Mr. ST Liu. ST is not a stranger to this event. He's the president for our smart product business group. ST, how are you doing? Good. Thank you, Jason. I'm here so that he can take a rest. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, morning everywhere. As you have heard from Jason, this is not my first time here. In fact, this is my third time here, uh, briefing you and introducing you to our new products. Last year, we announced our first smart wearable, which we call the Leap Active. In one event in the United States, we sold almost one unit of the Leap Active every single second. And to now, to the, these days, and to this day, we continue to trend a very good quality and a very good feedback from the whole uh, populations of the customers we have. So ladies and gentlemen, today I want to announce a new member of our Leap family. We call it the Liquid Leap Fit. The design language is exactly the same, but the unique difference in the Leap Fit is that it is, it is a revolutionary uh, device that will embody a, what we call a personal coaching system right there on your wrist. What does that do? Combining the touch in the, in the interactions capability of the touch surface of our Leap and a personalized application on the smartphone, one can set your own goals and targets for health, for fitness, et cetera, et cetera. And you will be able to track them and be reminded of them throughout the day. So you can change your lifestyle, you can adjust your habits, et cetera, to, to, to what you really want to do. I put an example here as a pill taken. Have you taken your pills? Have you taken it in the right place and right time and so on and so forth? But you can do all sorts of things. At the end of the day, you get a report. You get a trending report on how far, how good, how well you have done on that day. So ladies and gentlemen, the Leap Fit is a new addition to our Leap family. And that's not only it. You heard about the Explorer X5, the heartbeat sensor. So we have a heartbeat sensor on the Leap Fit as the continuous detections of a heartbeat, which, uh, which is, uh, you know, you have this blinking light at the back. Well, you might say that, wow, you know, if you're continuous monitoring the heartbeat, how is the battery going to last? Well, we double the battery of the Leap family. So this guy here is going to last you twice as long as the Leap Basic, as the Leap Active. And also, we have benchmarked it to be the longest battery autonomy um, continuous heart rate detector of a wrist product. So the Leap Fit is our new member of the Leap family, which we're very excited about. The next product I want to talk about, yes, it's a smartphone. Smartphone has gone through a tumultuous two years where everything and many things have changed, but it never ceased to continue to be a key loyal friends and the partners that all of us need to use. But here in Acer, we have always viewed ourselves to be a computing-centric company, and we are focused on bringing more computing and focus on more in solving the customer problem. So the, Z, the Liquid Zest Plus comes with a 5,000 milliamps hour battery. Last year in the same event, we announced the Z630 and the Z630S, which has 4,000 milliamps hour battery. And that phone will last you well into a day. But this guy here will last you well into a day and more, probably two days. So I'm announcing the 5,000 milliamps uh, battery Zs Plus, but that's not the only thing. We also heard from our consumers that the best camera you have should be the camera in your pocket. So the Zs Plus comes with three key things we're doing on the camera. Three key things that will enhance your experience. Number one, we put a laser focus onto the ZS Plus. Number two, we put a face detection autofocus. And number three, we maintain the contrast detection focus mechanism. All in all, the ZS Plus will give you one of the best camera performance in this tier. And what is this tier? This is a mid-tier phone. We will sell it at below $250 
recommended retail price. Extremely attractive products, 5.5 inch phablet with a 30 megapixel camera at the back, 5, cam uh, 5 megapixel with wide angle in the front. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the uh, Zest Plus, I keep saying Lip Plus. The next product I want to introduce is not a real uh, a full product, but it is an accessory. It's a, it's a peripheral product. I keep saying that we want to advance and bring more computing experience to our consumers. Computing experience has been delivered in multiple different fa uh, form factors and functions, not just a PC, not just a laptop. Last year, we announced the Primo, which is using the Microsoft Windows 10 mobile with Continuum. And we're shipping the Primo today in this pack here, which really is uh, a box that full of uh, accessories like the adapter, the wireless uh, mouse, and the wireless keyboard, which gives you instant gratification after you buy it. Open it up, plug it in. You don't just have a phone, you have a PC as well. Today, we are introducing our first uh, uh, accessory, which is what I like to call it a laptop kit. So what it does here, you got it. It's converting your phone, the Primo, into a laptop and then you can carry it anywhere you want. So ladies and gentlemen, those are the three key products focusing on three very different areas, three very different usage patterns. And very excited about that, and uh, I want to thank you. This is New York. Have fun and play with our products at the back and knock yourself off. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you, ST. Thanks. The first, uh, how do we call it, PC phone in the world. And without the support of uh, Microsoft, it cannot be done. So let's see what Microsoft want to say. Uh, Nick Parker, Corporate Vice President. I want to congratulate Acer on today's launch event. Thank you for your partnership and ongoing commitment to building innovative Windows 10 devices. Partners like Acer, who bring great devices to market, are helping to make Windows 10 the fastest growing Windows ever, with more than 270 million active devices today. It's great to have Acer partnering with us to deliver modern computing experiences. And they are certainly delivering on that with their new lineup of consumer and commercial devices, including the Switch Alpha 12, a premium 2-in-1 that will take full advantage of Windows Inc., the new Inc. workspace, and the new Cortana capabilities coming in the Windows 10 anniversary update later this year. The TravelMate 15, a thin and light premium notebook that offers Windows 10 professional and the performance, enterprise-grade security, and data protection businesses rely on. Also, there'll be a new portfolio of Predator gaming notebooks and desktops that truly take advantage of the best in PC gaming with high-end processors, GPUs, and awesome multitasking gaming capabilities. There'll also be exciting new accessories that make the Jade Primo phone a powerful Windows 10 computing device. It takes full advantage of Continuum and universal Windows platform apps. It's great to see Acer creating devices that truly bring current and future Windows 10 experiences to life. Beyond these new devices, Acer's demonstrated amazing partnerships through their work with Microsoft and educators to develop the TravelMate B117. This device is designed to meet the unique needs of teachers and students around the world. I'm thrilled to be part of Acer's launch here in New York and want to thank you for your support and your partnership on delivering great Windows devices and experiences to our mutual customers. Acer will celebrate 40 years in September, and Microsoft is proud to have worked with you for many of those years. We look forward to our continued successful partnership. Thank you. Also in New York, we launched our first two-in-one product. Now, I must say, at the time, we are a bit late to the market, but it didn't take long for Acer to, overtook, to overtake our competitor in this very fast-growing market. We got wonderful product coming out, taking shares from everybody. People are happy with our product and we became number two. At the time, we were pretty happy about that, but once we dive deeper 
we realize that the so-called two-in-one market actually has two segments. Let me help you to read this segment, to read this diagram. On the vertical side, it's an average sales price. In the left-hand side, it's a quantity. And the bubble size is a market term. So it's well segregated into two markets. Acer has done extremely well, and we were actually number one in green bubble. And that makes us to be number two in the world. But there's only one company doing the product in that blue bubble, which is actually bigger than the green one. I look at it and say, something is wrong. We should come up with something that will be able to do well in that blue bubble area, which is bigger than the segments that we are in today. And for that, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce Switch Alpha 12. All right, all right. Look at this, such a beautiful product. This is our brand new premium two-in-one device. I'll let you get a couple photos. Let me open it up for you here. We got a nice keyboard there. Easily detachable, there we go. So, you're probably wondering Wait what a makes. Minute. Yeah. That's two in one, yep. and many companies already have similar type of product. What's unique about this? Exactly right. So what makes this device special? Well, the problem with two in ones is that consumers like you, I, I see a few of you out there using uh, certain two in one devices already. You guys need full power. You need 6th gen, you need Core i CPU inside your device. Hey, 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 Intel, Intel. <laughs> <laughs> the problem, of course, as we get thinner and lighter, slimmer devices, is the cooling. So that's why me, the gaming guy, I'm here to talk about this device. Because the same problem we have with gaming devices, thermal, we have the same issue to that's solve here. That's our strengths. That's right, that's right. So, the way we achieve that in this product is by creating a totally new cooling system. There is no fan in this device. It's a fanless device. World's first two-in-one device with six-gen core I with a fanless design. Just a second. I remember I somehow have a glimpse on the Intel yellow book. Core I CPU to do this kind of form factor, you need a fan. How does that been achieved? Yeah, so normally, of course, yeah, you need a fan. Otherwise, you're going to get some you know, thermal throttling, you know, some, some, some limitation of the, of the power ability. We don't have that problem in this device. The, w the way we solve this problem is by creating this closed-loop liquid cooling system. We call it liquid loop. Pretty simple name. The way it works is when the coolant passes through the loop over the CPU, the expanding gas pushes the coolant back around the circuit. So we don't need a giant radiator or pump or any, any of the large components that we usually have in water cooling. So what you're saying is the heat generated by the system will be able to become the energy to circulate the That's liquid. Right. That's exactly right. So this, as you can imagine, is super efficient. So saves power, super quiet, very cool. We don't have any performance problems. Such a cool innovation. A beautiful machine, very green. That's right. And um, nice little note, uh, this keyboard comes free with everyone. So, pretty good. Yeah? That's nice. So take a look, check it out. Thank you, Stephen. Thanks. Thank you. That's our new two-in-one products that will be able to reach to the high end with no fan, Core i 6 gen we analyze the industry more than just a two-in-one. We actually analyze the declining PC market where are the, some of the bright spots. I must say we have done okay on the convertible. We did well in Chromebook. Uh, the RIP product, the, the, the band, we do well. The detachable, we just show it. We are number two and hopefully we target to be number one. But the big White elephant in the room is the ultra, ultra slim notebook area.
considering the bubbles. This green bubble is actually the biggest green bubble in the industry. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you a beautiful machine that we have been working on. Because when I saw this chart, I got confusion. I said, this is so obvious. This is white elephant. Why not we come out with something that will be able to do well in the industry? In fact, we already have a product doing that. Our S7 has been there and doing OK for four years. The only problem for that is, well, it's come with about 1,400 US dollar kind of product. Uh, kind, kind of price point. So I was talking to our general manager, our president for the PC division, Jerry, a couple of months ago, and he said, well, you know, if you look at the whole PC industry, one company do well here and growing, being profitable, what are we going to do about it? I'm not going to just stand still and say, okay, that's them and that's us, and, and we are in different segments. We're not going to do that. So I asked him, say, can we do a product as good as this A company? You know which one? <laughs> if not better, with half of the price. Keyword is half of the price. And at the time, Jerry, you answer me was, Jer Jerry is this gentleman. <laughs> I asked my boss, do I need to find a new job? <laughs> because that's extremely difficult. He actually told me, if that can be done, he has done it a long time ago. <laughs> and I say, don't say no too quickly. Work on it, try harder, and a couple months later, ladies and gentlemen, Aspire S S13. Eric, you want to let people see this baby? Absolutely. So I'm excited to announce today the newest product in our S family of ultra thin and light notebooks. When we add a product to this line, we focus the design on being ultra thin, ultra light, and having a lot of performance. So when this product launches in May, it will be one of the thinnest notebooks in its class. This is even more pronounced when you consider the performance of similar products and the price point that Jason's been talking about. Part of the story is, of course, making it look good. This has to be something that people desire and want. So we've, uh, we have a few elements of the design that have been inspired by another of our well-regarded product lines, the V-Nitro. First of those is the elegant hinge design right here. The golden bar here. So I'll turn it a little bit so it catches better in the light. So a nice hinge, a very thin profile, and then on the cover here is a linear pattern that also has a very good texture to it, so it's easy to hold on to. Now, that pattern contrasts very nicely with the inside of the system, which is a matte finish here. Another element to show off the design is the diamond cut edging around the outside of the diamond keyboard cut. tray, and then also on the touchpad here. One of the reasons that's possible is because of the materials that we are using for this product. We're using aluminum in three parts of the system, and the top and the keyboard area use a process for manufacturing called nano imprint lithography. Uh, say, say it again. It's a mouthful. Nano imprint lithography. Uh, so it allows us to do these clever textures, and it's also environmentally friendly compared to anodizing aluminum. Now, with this system, it's not just about the looks, though. Performance is important as well. So we have a 13.3 inch full HD IPS display. It's also available with optional touch. We've incorporated six generation Intel Core processors. We have extremely fast 802.11 AC wireless, as well as a number of other uh, technologies you've seen in our products before. So it's a thing and light, it's beautiful, and? And to go with the philosophy that Jason was mentioning earlier about delivering products and making them more accessible to everyone in the market, the price point on this product is $699. So we'll be able to achieve half the price with the comparable product. Yes. Wonderful product. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Conventionally, Acer has been famous 
poor been popular in the consumer area that people like our product. So about one third of our business is actually in the cons con commercial area, about 70% consumer. That was three years ago. Until now, about four, almost 40% of our, our, our product, our business is actually in the commercial area. In some of the big markets like China, United States of America, India, our commercial business is actually bigger than our consumer business. To demonstrate how well our product line up, we actually have a section to showcase our full product line or our commercial product setup. And you will be, you will be welcome to touch, feel, see around all our commercial product line up. Talking about commercial uh, product, the next product I would like to introduce will be our Chromebook, Chromebook 14 for work. Actually, I remember in Berlin, September at that time, for many people, how many people were in Berlin uh, for our uh, previous uh, product launch? There are quite a few of you, right? So we actually, on the stage, we show the recognized uh, uh, Chromebook that is robust, it's tough, it's hard. This time, you see, even more. You want to talk about that. So what are the reasons that Acer is number one in the world? That feels good to say. Acer is number one in the world for Chromebooks. One of the reasons for that is our success in the education sector. We spent time purposefully designing products to be durable for the rigors of being used by, by children in that environment. With the Chromebook 14 for work, we went a step further. We said, let's make this even more durable, tougher, and more resilient. So we've designed the product to be, and it has passed certification for US military spec. Military spec. And you can see those, those test results, uh, the ones that were conducted on screen there. I can see people start to laugh. You know what? That's needed. <laughs> so uh, another really cool feature about this product is the fact that it's the first in the world to use vibrant Corning Gorilla Glass, allowing corporate customers to use photorealistic designs on that A cover. That A cover, by the way, the top lid of the system, because it's Corning Gorilla Glass, is durable, scratch resistant, and those images will show through. Corporate customers can have their logo or whatever other artwork they want on that. So it's tough, it's robust, rocket, further rocketized, and you can actually customize um, that uh, Gorilla Glass. Yes. For that, thank you very much, our new Chromebook. Game in. beyond the darkness. Determined to find a new hope, it reveals itself in unexpected forms, smaller and deadlier, ready to be unleashed. It's up to us how we choose to use this power. Dare to be different. Revel in the impossible. Introducing a little anarchy. Disrupting the natural order. Because a hero lies in all of us. Enter the Predator G1, sixth generation core processor. Powered by GeForce Titan X DDR5. Supercooled ice tunnel thermal system with Killer Shot Pro. More than a machine. A force of raw power. Decimate the competition. Nothing is beyond your reach. Claim your victory. And go forth 
to conquer new worlds. We announced our Predator gaming product line about only a year ago. But throughout this past 12 months, with your help, with your support, we are getting lots of reports talking positively how wonderful our system is well designed. In fact, in short, when I travel around the world, many reporters like yourself ask us, they say, what's unique about Acer gaming product? I told people two things. Number one, we got full product line, more broad, deeper than any other people. Secondly, thermal, 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 thermal. We'll be able to provide better system, cooler than anybody else. And for that, we're actually getting very good result. Good report, good result. I'm tracking, personally tracking every week. Uh, what are some of the countries that we became number one and number two in the world, in their market? In fact, there are certain countries, as soon as the product reached the market, within five weeks, we became number one in the market and stayed there. And we are very proud of the achievement, and we were very thankful for your support, uh, reporting the factual story on our gaming product line. Today, we would like to introduce even newer product family members for Acer Predator product line. G1. Getting serious here. <laughs> Fresh. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm pulling out of this 23-inch piece of luggage our new Predator G1 desktop. This thing is awesome. It it's a desktop, but it's compared with other desktop. It's tiny. It, this is very tiny, especially when you look at our G6 we introduced last year, a beast of a system. What we've done is taken all the power, all the performance, and made it smaller. It has the design elements, it has the Predator Sense software, it has the great cooling we've been talking about all day, the customizable lighting. Uh, this thing is great. Inside, to further that performance story, sixth generation Intel Core processors, and incredibly full sized. NVIDIA GeForce GTX Titan X graphics. So top end, state of the art. Oh, state of the art, which means, of course, that this supports VR. And I'm happy to say that with all of our other products we're showing today, we have demo stations to show off the desktop and a VR experience for you. Performance is a key for any gaming system. Absolutely. For that, G1 will be able to do that in a small phone factor. Yes. And I'd like to introduce Frank from Intel to join me on the stage to talk about wonderful technologies that Intel is able to come and support us on that. Okay, thank you. Uh, yes, that was me whistling. I try not to whistle every time 6 Gen Core is uh, mentioned, but uh, maybe I'll whistle a little bit later on. Hey, you said there were, uh, on the 2 one, you said there were no fans, but I gotta tell you, I'm a fan. Very cool. There you go. Very, very cool product. It's, you know, the, the cool thing about what's going on in gaming, it's an amazing growth opportunity actually for both, both Acer and for Intel. Um, Acer's bringing out some very, very creative products. You're, you're seeing this just for the first time right now. And um, that creativity began, I, I'm very proud to say, we began that kind of journey together when you first got into gaming. We were at GamesCon in Germany together, and now here we are again in, in New York. Very, very cool experience. I gotta tell you, cool experience is what gaming is all about. PC gaming is by far the most immersive, interactive gaming experience that you get across on any platform. And you've heard us talk today a lot about the social media and the social interactions. Gaming platforms, the get platforms provided by Acer, provide a great social kind of interaction kind of capability. Esports is huge. The ability to play my game and stream it online at the same time I'm playing, playing my game is critical to gamers. And at the same time, YouTube and, and Twitch are just taking off. Twitch alone 
records about 100 million active viewers every month. 100 million every month. 77 million followers on Facebook. These are incredible, incredible statistics. Um, in addition to that, what's going on in esports is also equally amazing. We went from 89 million esports viewers, uh, roughly about 2014, to about 145 million viewers expected by the end of next year. And if you think about that in the context of the Super Bowl, for a Super Bowl, there was only 114 million viewers. Esports is the other thing that's creating a ton of excitement around gaming, and it's a great way for people to connect through gaming type of experiences. And this is why I'm, I'm personally excited. Now, you talked a little bit about VR capabilities on this system, and, and you mentioned transformation. Transformation is absolutely the center of what's going on in virtual reality today. And it won't just transform <coughs> gaming experiences, entertainment, it's going to transform all experiences. I would actually say, much the way touch has transformed every screen on the planet, you're going to see VR transform every experience as well. And I'm proud to say that our sixth generation core processors are fundamental to enabling that experience. If you look at what the minimum VR specs are today, the minimum is a Core i5 with an optimized experience around Core i7. Now you can create a stunning, amazing, realistic, interactive gaming. You can broadcast and stream your gaming live. You can edit it down later, put it back on YouTube. And when you combine it with a 4K monitor, I think you have the, probably the most immersive experience that you can possibly get. And it's all, all on the G1. I love the industrial design. It's a very edgy kind of armor look to it. That small form factor is crazy amazing that you have to, don't have to give up a lot of performance or any performance to get there. Just to make it a little personal, I have a 34-inch curved Predator monitor that, that I know that's going to work really well with. And if I can get a demo to take home or maybe an employee discount <laughs> would help me a little bit more. That would be, we can talk about that. <laughs> that, would be, that would be crazy awesome. It, you know, they're going to talk more and more. Ace is going to talk more and more about what they're doing with these experiences. Please stop by and see the demo showcase. I'm going to be around as well. I, I personally consider it an honor to be able to come up and talk about how we're working together, bring gaming to the market. Thanks a ton. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor to have you here. But this is not the end of our G1 story. We actually had a very important news to announce. Yes, Jason, we do. So this is a very important product for our product line. We definitely want to get attention to the fact that this is small and portable. Jason identified markets where we are leading and have maintained our position. So the promotion is for the first 1,000 people that buy the G1 desktop, they will receive this suitcase for free. And it's custom designed to carry the G1 desktop. And it's an element 23 inch luggage that will fit with cushion well with G1, and you can use it as a regular, wonderful luggage as well. And for the countryside today, we have number one and number two position. We will offer this promotion. So, Set up quick, it's running very, very fast. And for that, we also realize that true gamers, they want kind of performance that only desktop will be able to provide. But for whatever reason that you need a notebook, a gaming notebook to do the work. Then the creativity started to come. Some people actually thought about using water cooling for notebook. And we ended up having a bigger water tank than the PC itself. We don't think that's right. For us, thermal is our strength, introducing Predator 17X. All right. There we go. I have been waiting months to finally show off this awesome new product. This is the Predator 17X. Let me open it up for you guys, get a good shot here. This is our new baddest gaming machine. So inside, we have, of course, Core i. 
So, so outside it looks similar to our Predator 17 today. It does. But inside, very different. Yes, some key new innovations inside. So first is the Intel CPU. We've got a K skew inside, which means we've got overclocking. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Okay. We also have the brand new NVIDIA GTX 980, not M. This is a desktop grade GPU inside this notebook. The, how do you do the cooling? You look at this a very high end CPU, very high end graphic. That's right. The so, heat will take, you know, like other people say, a water tank to do it. Yep, yep, exactly. So, in order to avoid the uh, pitfalls of uh, having a, a giant water tank on your desk, we have uh, developed our own cooling system. So what we did is we have three parts. So one is our Aeroblade fan that we've mentioned before in our, some of our other products. And we've actually, we actually have a, a triple fan setup in this device. The traditional laptops will usually have two fans, maybe one here and one here, and the exhaust vents in the back. We actually have three fans, one in the front. And this front fan utilizes this cool, cool air intake that so you see here in the front. So this one is actually not the speaker. This is not a speaker, this is cool air intake, just like a high performance sports car. So this is, this is a great idea. I mean, it, it's, it's pretty logical, really. Uh, normal designs intake air from the bottom of the laptop. But uh, you can, if you've ever used a laptop, you know it's pretty hot down there. So intaking hot air to cool gaming components is uh, not a good idea. So we took a lesson from desktops, and we intake cool air from the front, push it straight over the hot chips, and out the back. And this allows us to push our performance up to and past the competition. So our latest figures, we are so proud, we, we are gonna show you our figures here. We've got our GPU up to 1348, which is nuts. If you guys do benchmarking, you know that is a, re those are really, really good numbers. Uh, the VRAM, we've got up to 3.7, which is great. And uh, you can see uh, the numbers compared to our competition, they are pretty good. And by the way, our, our, the, our Intel CPU, our CPU performance, we got it up to four gigahertz stable. This is, this is great, great numbers. I'm so happy with this device. Try it out. We're running a ton of them over here with demos. You can benchmark it, you can uh, try it. We've got Tomb Raider running back there. You guys can test it out, see the performance. It is incredible, definitely number one gaming notebook in the world right now. Thank you guys very much, Predator 17X. Wonderful machine, much more logical design. Yes. <laughs> you don't need a water coating for a notebook. When the gaming industry evolved, next thing big, virtual reality. For that, I would like to show a short video for that. Talking, of, talking about virtual reality, it's an honor to have Jason Paul, another Jason from NVIDIA to join me on the stage. How are you doing, Jason? I'm doing great, thank you very much. Thank you, Jason. Hi, I'm the other Jason. Uh, I head up uh, virtual reality at NVIDIA and uh, we're really excited to be partnering with Acer uh, to, bring to, get, to bring to market some very powerful VR-ready desktops and notebooks. Virtual reality, you guys have probably heard a lot about gaming for virtual reality, and there's some amazing new gaming experiences like Eve Valkyrie, which we're, which we're showing in the demo showcase. Uh, but one of the things that particularly excites me about, uh, about virtual reality is all of the possibilities beyond gaming. I'll give you a quick, uh, quick rundown of these. Uh, sports. Virtual reality will be able to put you on the 50-yard line of your favorite team's game every week. Uh, in movies, rather than sitting, uh, you know, sitting and watching it on the silver screen, you can be in the action, interacting with the setting and, and, and the characters in the, in the, in the films. Uh, art, we have a great uh, demo here called Tilt Brush uh, that is a new creative medium uh, that allows you to paint and sculpt and move around, uh, move around and interact with your, with your creation. Uh, retail, you'll no longer have to go to the store to, to, to try on the, the, the new jacket or the new dress. 
uh, you'll be able to put it on a virtual avatar, see the fit, uh, on, uh, the size, make sure everything's right before you purchase. Uh, and then travel. Virtual reality is going to be able to take you to some amazing places that you'll never have gone. And I'd like to share two of these with you. Uh, Everest VR. Uh, Everest is the tallest mountain in the world, a place that many of us will, will never get a chance to experience. Uh, we've worked with uh, a developer partner of ours called Solfar Studios, uh, and they have taken 300,000 images of Mount Everest and used them to create a 3D model of the mountain that is ultra realistic and created a virtual ex ex reality experience off of this using NVIDIA technology that allows you to, to cross all the crevices and climb to the top. Uh, incredibly realistic, incredibly immersive, and we have that here uh, for you to, to see and experience in the demo showcase. If Everest wasn't far enough away for you, uh, we've also been working with uh, one of our developer partners, Fusion VR, uh, on a Mars 2030 demo. And some of you guys may know, so NASA is working on a project to send mankind to Mars uh, for the first time in the year 2030. Uh, and so Fusion uh, has been working in collaboration uh, with NASA, taking all of their research, their satellite imagery, their Mars rover data to build a very accurate, scientifically realistic model of the Martian surface and give people a sense of what it's going to be like to be the first astronaut on Mars. So with that, I want to show a short video here of a teaser of the experience. So that's just a short teaser video. Uh, you know, only one in a billion of us will get to go to Mars uh, in, a, in our lifetime. Uh, so for the other 999 million of us, uh, we can see it in virtual reality. So the challenge with these experiences is that they are incredibly computationally intensive. Uh, if you compare virtual reality to PC, traditional PC games in terms of resolution and frame rate, it requires about seven times the performance of a traditional PC gaming experience. So this is why it's so important to have powerful PCs like Acer's Predator line to be able to drive uh, these experiences and, and put people and create that immersion in virtual reality. And so we took uh, the Acer Predator G1 and the Acer, uh, Acer Predator 17X and we put them through the paces in our labs uh, and uh, we, uh, we tested them for performance, uh, for compatibility with a, with a wide variety of headsets and, uh, and, and gaming experiences. And not only were they performant, but they did so while remaining cool and quiet. Uh, and then, you know, as I've talked about here before, one of the things that we liked the best about them was they were in a really nice form factor. And this is important for VR because I think everyone's going to want to share their VR experiences with their friends and their family. When they get their first headset, they're going to want to take their PC, they're going to want to take their notebook over to their friend's house or their family's house and show off what they got. And with Acer's PCs, they can do that. Uh, one small little anecdote, uh, one of the demo experiences we, uh, uh, we brought, um, you know, uh, m uh, my tech marketing guy who was testing the PCs, uh, told me, he's like, hey, we're going to demo this. And I said, oh, th that one doesn't run so well in the notebooks. We, we shouldn't bring that one. And he's like, no, on, this, on the Predator 17X, it runs smooth as butter. So uh, you know, it, these are high performance PCs that are going to run great virtual reality experiences. So we're really excited to be partnering with Acer to, uh, uh, to uh, put these type of powerful PCs into VR enthusiasts' hands. Sam here. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jason and Jason. I must admit, um, at the beginning of this event, uh, some people was uh, waiting for a, a little bit, uh, for one or two minutes. Uh, the reason for that was because it's not because of technical readiness, it's because I was playing around with the virtual reality and uh, amazing experience, I have to tell you. Acer is ready for virtual reality and we are now the only one in the world that's able to support four different kind of virtual reality standards. 
the good news, today we got them already in our booth. Six booths for virtual reality for you to touch, feel, enjoy, and feel amazed. Our aim is to put, deliver the best computer experience to our customers. And I hope you enjoy our event today. Thank you for your time, and thank you for your attention. The show is not ended yet. We have more than 200 demo systems up there. We have lots of booths for you to personally touch, feel, again, amazed on what can be done. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you next time. <laughs>